everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of uh, Tea and Mead. Um, this is uh, kind of a special episode, only because we realized that as of four days ago, we are we will have done this for three years. Yep. Um, so it's kind of a huge milestone for us. Did not uh, think a uh, backyard drunken night would have turned into three years in a business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think when we were sober enough to actually consider what it would mean to do something like this, I don't think we ever considered that it would last this long. And it, we, it's always been just kind of more of a hobby for us. Yeah. Rather well, than something that, oh, we got to, you know, get, get content out. It's never been about that. It's we did it we started it because it was a cool idea and we like mead um well and, it, and if even if us doing this gets one more person to try one of these companies or a handful to try each or whatever it yeah you know it helps most of these are small businesses and helps them out and yeah. you know we're both firm believers that america's built was built on small businesses and absolutely and, and absolutely entrepreneurship oh i said it right that time yeah that's a big <laughs> word for you you know and uh well and this kind of works too because we're actually so this is we have our old teak and meat table the yep. one we made out the, of scrap wood in yep, the back the original from uh, virginia yep it's been uh, through a hurricane snowstorms uh living in california yep. the death valley yep. trip yep. twice, twice. Twice. Once in the back of truck, once in the, um, the rider truck or the Penske. Yep. And uh, this is going to be its final hurrah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, yeah. this thing's getting a little uh, wobbly. <laughs> so. We're uh, we're metal workers. We're not carpenters. Yeah. So um, here in the future, um, we will be rebuilding, well, building a new table. Um, Probably about the same size, I would think. Maybe, yeah, we'll probably keep maybe, a few things from yeah. it. It's kind of like uh, homage to it, you know. We'll yeah. definitely keep the. We got. You can't really see it, but on either side, there's a bottle opener. You know, yeah. there's a mule near hanging on the front. Yeah. And a couple of things. Um, this time we need to put. Might do a bit of redesigning, uh, just with the table, maybe with the emblem. We need um, to put on either side where we can hang the horns. Yeah, little maybe. little hooks. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. But and then even more fitting, our first episode was with Groenfeld. At this table. At this table. And yep. so for its final debut, uh, we thought it was only fitting to have a Groenfeld episode at the Teak and Mead table. Um, and it's a perfect season for it. Um, you know, we're getting towards the end of September now. Uh, bow season just started for bow deer. Bow season just started for deer. Um, um, and the leaves are starting to change. It's yep. it's time for the hunt. Yeah. So, Come in on, honor... Perfect segue. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> in honor of that, we have the wild hunt uh, from Groenfell. Uh, it is one that we have thoroughly enjoyed over... The years that they've made it, and I remember when they first made it, they said they weren't sure if they were going to bring it back. And now it has become a seasonal thing to the yeah. point that they have mugs, uh, shirts, they, and, shirts stuff. and stuff like that. But we bought the first edition of the mugs um, that they made in 2020, and that was I think that was the only time we got them. Yeah. They had, and they've changed them over the over the last couple of years, um, just like they've changed their. Uh, Recipe. their recipe for the wild hunt and it it being a seasonal I, I, I like that um, that they've that they've done that um, I don't remember what the original recipe was is this one of the original cans yes it is because we're hoarders we have one of the OG wild hunt cans so it's your basic start off water honey and then it goes to cranberry juice blood orange juice cinnamon cloves cardamom nutmeg uh, flavor, a uh, flavor uh, purifier or protection and uh, sulfates. Now, here's the thing: the new one. They have uh, they've revamped it a bit. Um, 
and these have been sitting in the fridge, so they're nice and cold. Mm. Um, it starts off with water and honey, which is super basic, but they've added black currant juice, uh, cranberry juice, blood orange juice, cinnamon, and vanilla. Uh, well, cinnamon's been in there. Uh, the vanilla is new, the black currant is new, cloves, cardamom, nutmeg, and maple syrup. So that's another new one. Um, and they've removed the sulfites. Um, yeah. So And the stabilizer. Yeah. Uh, for, yeah. The so. potassium sorbate. Yeah, that. I wasn't going to try that to say yeah. that. But, but yeah. Um, I think the... I think this is still the same, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still the same. Uh, well, I mean, we'll read it anyway. Um, as the thundering of the wild hunt approaches, mortals make their peace. And as the hooves recede into the distance for another year, the silence brings peace and a time to appreciate the bounty of the harvest. Wild Hunt is a balanced blend of honey, cranberry, blood orange, and spice brewed in honor of ceremonial meads of 18th century North Northern Europe. Groenfeld Meadery produces historically inspired craft meads from pure wildflower honey. Our drinks are meant for feasting, whether during high summer, midwinter, or every day. Grab some friends, grab a pint, and join the feast. Well, and the other new thing from... Oh yeah, they powered by the sun. Um, so they are a solar powered brewery now. I think that's pretty new. That's kind of a cool, cool yeah. idea. Um, but it's still, actually, yeah, the, the artwork's the same. It just, this uh, one's... It's yeah. a little different. They brightened up some of the green, but... Well, this one also sat out oh, for a yeah. while. This is two years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that that one's a little darker, but... Yeah, the, the artwork's still the same, um, which is, you know, it's fitting that they haven't changed that too much. Uh, I'm actually just noticing it. They have... It's a face. Yeah, the green one. Uh, actually, what it is is uh, Trinunos. Oh, okay. He's the god of the wild hunt. It's a he's a Celt uh, entity. Oh, okay, cool. So, a lot anyway. of crossover between Celts and Norse and things like that. Because you got to remember, at that point in time, there was a lot of trading all around the world. You know, they sure. they're even finding that there were Norsemen on the on the Silk Road and all that. So, and then vice versa. So. I don't remember it being that hue. I thought last time it was either it was either darker or it was more orange. It was more orange last time. Um, okay, I got worried there. We had a crack in our hardball. It's the last one we got left, dude. Yeah. Um, well, that's a good thing. It's a cheap ten dollar Walmart set. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think it was a little more orange than than this. Than this but that looks really good. Hmm. You get the hints of everything yeah, else. Yeah, all those, all those kind of fall spices really come out. Um, get a little bit of a uh, the citrusy smell, but a lot of it is dulled by those spices. Well, and you get that little touch of that maple at the back yeah. of the smell there. Just so. a touch. And it's it's very floral, which is what you would expect from a wildflower honey. So. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> And pre-warning, you might hear uh, cows mooing in the pasture next to us, or yeah. that way, or that. Or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, well, to the hunt. To the hunt. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. So that black currant doesn't come out like. Whoa. Well, but it's. It's more subtle. It's more nuanced. It's not. It's not what you would expect from like what we've had before with black currant. Oh yeah. I like the I like the addition of it. Um, I, I think it helps kind of bring out some of those spices a little more. And if you hold it a little longer, you get a little bit more of the black currant, but more of the blood orange comes out too. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I don't get much of the maple, but it's more of like it's sweetened sweetened the pot. Yeah, you know, I think that was more of what it was going for. I, I, I do agree. I think the uh, the black currant brings that blood orange out a little more mm -hmm. than it has in the past. And I, I think what kind of brings it all together is that if if you're able to 
smell it as you're tasting it. You kind of get everything. You get those spices and you get the, the, the citrusy tart flavor from the black currant and that blood orange mixed with, you know, those typical fall spices. A little bit. Just a little bit. It's a little bit more of a yeah noticeable, but it's not like it's falling on mm -hmm. deaf taste buds. Um, numb, numb taste buds. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> but that's... As always, they did it. it they, it's they it it, ever since they started it. It's been very good. Um, I I mean, and there's a reason why it sells out really fast. Um, yeah, I mean, we've. I think the first time we got it, we got what eight pints, and we burned through it in a weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was also we were still in in. Yeah. Um, um, now that we're out, I mean, we've got a case now, but gonna try to enjoy it a lot more i do think uh if it's still available come payday we need to order another case and just yeah, just have it set aside we'll bury it in the yard somewhere so nobody nobody finds it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's better than putting it under a mattress man yeah, yeah. but uh yeah I mean, yeah i i'm curious to see what they'll do for next year's um how they'll change it or maybe maybe they'll keep it consistent. Who knows? Maybe add a touch of excuse me, a uh, touch of blackberry. I think just a t just a hint. Yeah, maybe kind of bring a little bit more of uh, that kind of tart. Yeah, tartness to the um, front. Yeah, we need to redo our first episode, like revisit. Yeah, sorry, we're 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 doing what we always do. Yeah. yeah. I gotta see if, cause they've been out of the um, the cycle pump for a while. Mm. So it's, the one that started it all. Yeah. But, but. Well, we're rambling at this point. Yeah, so. I think we've pretty much nailed final thoughts during the episode. So <laughs> I don't think that there's really too much else. Um, we already said that we're gonna redo the table, and this is its. Last, last go around for yep. for its lifetime. Yep, it's been it's been a hell of a ride. It has it's three years, three years from the day we well, almost three years from the day from the day we started, and it's culminated here. We With, need to count how many different meteries we've done there's been a lot yeah we've done quite a bit we've done quite a bit but all right as always be great to one another drink responsibly let's go let's go that works that really does work oh, it's delicious i think that's a beer track